Hello everyone, welcome to I Learn Digital Class. Uh, my name is Steven. I want to use this medium to appreciate those that already subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm so so grateful um, for the like, um, you know, for the comment, and even for taking your time to share my videos on your social uh, media platform. I'm so so grateful for that. Um, and please, if you are watching this video now and you've not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime I drop um, uh, a video like this, I mean JavaScript project um, like this, so uh, you'll be the first person to get um, the notification. So um, guys, so what are we going to be um, creating today? So um, today um, we're going to learn how to create an exchange rate calculator. Uh, in JavaScript and how we're going to do this. So we are going to do this by, you know, uh, uh, calling a, an API in JavaScript. So I'm going to be explaining how you can call work with any API in JavaScript, how you can fetch data um, from uh, any API in JavaScript. So we are going to learn that today. So um, let me please show us um, what we are going to be um, working on now. Um, as you can see on your screen, this is an exchange um, rate calculator. So choose the currency and the amount to get the exchange rates. So this is US dollar. So for example, you can choose. I have um, numerous, um, you know, um, um, currency here for different countries. But this is USD and this is um, Euro. So one dollar now, as you can see, I, if I can increase it, you see it increases here. So two dollars goes to one point six six um, Euro. So you can, I can have like two hundred. You see, uh, it calculates it for us the exchange rates. So this is what we're going to be doing today. So I. Um, created this app with um, javascript um, using api so we're gonna learn how to fetch api in javascript so without any further ado so let's get into our text editor i'm going to be using sublime as my text editor so this is our html file yeah our html code here yeah. so uh, what i'm going to do is that i will not bother myself with the html and uh this is the css i will not bother myself what i'm just going to do is that i'm going to push this particular code uh, to github so what is that to, and i'm going to drop the link in the description below so just click on the uh, on the link and you'll be able to retrieve or you'll be able to download or clone um, any of these files um, to your computer so that uh, you'll be able to follow this um, um, tutorial along with me. So guys, let's get started now. So this is the uh, HTML uh, code here. So uh, I'm not going to bother myself as I've said earlier with the HTML and the CSS. So what we're just going to focus on is the JavaScript code. So what I'm just going to do is that I'm um, I'm going to clear um, this code right from this place. Now I'm going to clear it up here. So uh, I'm just going to explain um, this here. What I just do here is that uh, uh, what I uh, what I try to do here is that uh, I, I try to uh, get some IDs here in Java. Uh, I mean in HTML. So that um, here are some of the IDs here that we that I need that we need to get in our JavaScript code. The amount ID, the ID for swap, the ID rate. So so that we'll be able to uh, you know um, so that we'll be able to work um, and interact easily with our HTML code. So we need to get all these IDs. So very very important. So that is what I just do here. Let me. Sh this is it. So I have constants currency here. This could be anything here. As you can see, and this could be anything here as well. So this could be anything here as well. So what I just try to do is I just say document dot get element by ID currency one. So if you come inside your um, HTML code, you're gonna see current the ID for currency one. This is it. So this is the ID for currency one. So I'm just trying to get all this uh, currency here. So um, we have currency two as well here. So um, what what I just try to do is um, you know try to get uh, this currency two this is it's this is id uh, for currency two so we need to get this rate so i've already gotten that here you by you saying document of get elements by id so we are trying to get an element by id so this is the currency one this is amount one currency two rate two and that's all i just um, do here so what do we need to do now is that we need to um you know be, we want to call uh, uh uh want to fetch data from an api so this is the api that we're going to use to uh it's going to help us to you know calculate um any exchange rates so um let's give a comment here um fetch let's let's say okay fetch data fetch data from api so we need to um create a function here so what's that function we're gonna say function um calculates okay let's say function calculates here so uh okay so what are we going to do now we're gonna say constants we're gonna say constant uh currency constant currency okay currency currency okay currency one 
So what we just have to do, we need to change this to underscore. So it's equals to um, we need to get the value of currency one now dot value. Okay, so we need to get that. So then again, we're gonna get the uh, for currency two now. So we're gonna say currency. Okay, currency two. Let's change this to two. Okay. So we're gonna get the value. We're gonna say currency, uh, currency el2. Okay, we have that here. Dot value. Currency el2. Uh, dot value. Okay. So now we need to fetch our data from API. So let's say fetch. That is what we need uh, to fetch our data from an API. So this is the API we're gonna be using. So this is the API that I want to call in our code. Uh, HTTPS uh, open dot exchange rates. You know that um, API dot com. So let me copy this now i just need to copy this and uh, let me paste this inside our code okay okay i think um, i have to clear one of this um, colon out here okay good uh, we are good to go now so then we're gonna have a promise they're gonna say dot then uh okay but then um rest we're gonna get a response now uh, response so the response we want to get should be in json format okay json okay then we need to have another um promise here gonna say dot then uh, i mean uh sorry dot then it should dot should be here dot then then uh, we're gonna say data um I have an arrow here data then what is the data we want to get data one we'll get is um okay what to, let's console log data first let's see if we are gonna get anything um now in, in our console console data okay also data so let's save now so what i'm just trying to do is that i'm trying to fetch um this api so that this is api that we're going to use to um, calculate our rates so let me uh let's go into our browser now let me open my console here so that let's see if we are going to get anything out um from um in our console so let me reload this now let me reload this okay we, are, we didn't get anything i think this is because oh we have to call um you know this um calculate function here so that's why we're not getting anything in our database so let me see uh, i mean <laughs> in our console rather so let me reload this now good you see we are getting a response we are getting a response now in our console so we've been able to you know you, you can see we've been able to fetch out some data from our um um from this api so the reason why we are using this api is because we want to be able to uh you know have the latest conversion rate of any amount of money that we want to convert are you getting it now so that's what we want to do so we don't the reason why we are calling this api is because we want to be able to get the exact up to date um rates you know these things and um, changes per time so at times um one usd uh for example now what, what we're having here the other time is that one usd is close to zero point uh, i think it's zero point eighty six or 82 um euros so tomorrow you could wake up and it could have reduced or it could have increased but this exchange um rates um, api is going to help us to calculate um you know these things up to date so that is what that's why we need to call um this api here okay so let's go back into our code everything is working fine now so we need to let me um, comment this out so now we need to use this to calculate um you know our, our exchange rate now so we're gonna say constant now that's a constant rate okay it's equals to um data okay data dot rates data dot rates then we have um these are uh, gonna say currency two okay we have currency two here so we're gonna divide it we're gonna divide it by data um dot um rates okay data dot rates then we have currency one so we're gonna divide it by currency uh currency one okay we have this here so the next thing we need to do again is that we're gonna say um rate el rate el dot inner uh inner text okay so in our text so we what we want to do now is that we want to display this um exchange rates here that we are trying to do here so we want to display this um, exchange rate. we want to ins insert it inside our html and that's what we are trying to do now so we want to um insert it inside our html so in our text it's equals to then we have these here gonna say one here then uh we have the dollar sign here so i'm um, gonna say we're gonna we're going to say currency one okay i'm correct currency one 
um, it's equals to um, rates again. We don't have this there. It's equals to um, rates. Uh, and then we're gonna have something like this again here. Yeah. So we're gonna say it's currency two. We need the currency two here as well. So we're gonna say currency uh, two. Okay. So uh, let's continue now. We're gonna say then we're gonna say amounts. Uh, El amount el uh two now amount el two uh, dot value okay amount el two dot value um it's supposed to then we have these uh i'm gonna say amounts uh amount el one okay amount el one dot uh value okay amount el one dot value then we multiply it now multiply it times rates okay so this is just um the calculation we are trying to do here so we need to um just to fix so what this does is that it's going to help us to um you know reduce it to two um decimal figures so that's what i'm trying to do so what, what the function what uh what what i'm trying to do with to fix is that it's going to help us to reduce um you know the figures after the decimal uh, points so we are, i'm trying to reduce the figure to two now so that's what i'm trying to do now so let me come here and put two i'm trying to reduce the figure the decimal fi uh, i mean the figure after the decimal points to two so, so that we're not going to have a long uh, number once we calculate this so that we're not going to have a long number after a decimal but i'm trying to approximate it to two so that's just the calculation i'm trying to do here so i've been done that so the last thing we have to just do is we have to um you know listen to events so that's the last thing we have to do so we're gonna come here and say events events uh okay we're gonna have um we're gonna, okay we want to listen to events okay events uh event listener okay let's have that comment here event listener so what's the event we're not listening to we're gonna have currency el1 so anytime the values change currency el1 so we're gonna dot add uh events listener okay to change the event we're not listening to is to change events so um calculate okay Calculate. Okay, that's what we need to do there. So, and that uh, what we want to listen to again is amounts. Amount el one dot add uh, add event listener. So, what is the event we want to listen to here as well is the uh, inputs now. Anytime a value is inputs, so you calculate it for us. Calculate. Okay. Uh, um. Okay. The next thing we need to do here as well. Okay. Let me put. Let me close this here. Okay. So the next thing um, we need to do again is that we're gonna say currency um, currency el2 okay currency el2 dot add um, event listener dot add event listener then we're gonna have um, change so uh, calculate as well again that's what we need to do here calculate anytime the values changes we want to calculate okay. Oh, okay so um the and uh, the last one again the event we want to listen to here is the amount el2 amount el2 dot add event uh listener so what is the event you want to listen to is input anytime a value is input here we want to calculate again so calculate good so um calculate so the last thing we want to do now is for the swap button anytime um the swap button is clicked so we want to um still you know we want to change we wanted to change the the value okay what i'm trying to say here is that let me go back here so anytime uh we i hit on the swap button i think um let me close this now we are done with this so um the swap button is not showing yet because uh okay this is it sorry the swap button this is the swap button here uh, so anytime this swap button is clicked here, yeah, anytime the swap button is clicked, what I want to do is that I want to change the value from here to this place and change the value from here to this place and change the value we have here down to this place. So that's what I'm trying to do now. So we're going to listen to an uh, event called click. So let's say swap dot add event listener. Okay. Add event listener. Uh, we have click. Add event listener. Click. So that's the event we want to listen to. So we're gonna have uh, an arrow function here. Let me bring this down so that we'll be able to see very well. Okay, we're gonna have an arrow function here. So uh okay, 
So we're gonna have an arrow fashion. We're gonna say constant um, term. Oh, okay, it's equals to currency E L currency E um, I mean currency E L dot value currency E L dot value. So okay, then we're gonna come here again and have currency okay currency E L one value currency E L one dot value is equals to currency um, E L um, value currency el2 dot value so that we want to do here now currency el value okay two dot uh, value okay so um then what we now want to do is that we're going to say currency now currency i've said the other time what i'm just trying to do is just to swap the values so that's why i'm having all these um you know currency el value i'm just trying to you know change the values of each of uh, uh, of the uh, you know i'm trying to change the values of if the swap button is click the value in currency one we switch to two and value in currency two uh, we switch um to one so that is all what i'm just trying to do here so we have currency um we're gonna have currency um e l currency e l two currency e l two um dot value okay is equals to ten yeah okay then we're gonna um, call the um calculate function here calculate function so that's all we need to do guys so we are done with this code now so this is all we need to do so um let's go and check if um our code is working fine if we're not getting any error so we just let me save this now and let's go back into our code and let's see if everything is working fine so let me reload here okay let me reload uh okay is I'm not, I'm not getting any value here so let me see if we, are, if we are getting any error in our console let me check there's an error here okay i think there's an error currency is not defined as script 18 okay currency is not defined oh i think um this is where the error is coming from this this there should be it's not um that should be underscore two it should be underscore two let me save now okay uh let me see if let's go back into our browser and let me reload if that error would disappear yes the error has gone so let me close this so as you can see now our exchange rate calculator is working fine so our exchange rate calculator is working fine so you can pick any of these uh, currencies and you know you'll be able to convert any of those currencies it's, it's going to calculate them for you depending on uh you know depending on what you want depending on what you want you know so that is how you can use um, you know that is how you can fetch an api in javascript that this is how you can just fetch any api in, in javascript just call the fetch and you know you're going to get your data out so guys uh, i believe you've learned one or two things at my tutorial today i've learned i've explained how you can you know um, um how you can call an api fetch data in javascript i've explained how you can do some simple calculation in javascript as well so guys please i believe you've learned one or two things so please as a payback kindly subscribe um, to my youtube channel so that um this um video is going to um reach as many uh, people as possible once you subscribe so i don't appreciate you for taking your time to watch this um tutorial so um please don't forget to um if you have any question or any projects in javascript you really want me to work on just don't worry just drop it in the comment section so i'm going to um do a future video related to the any projects you suggest uh, to me so i really want to appreciate you for taking your time to um, watch uh, this video once again so uh, i'm still your host i'm still your friend i'm still your brother stevie thank you so much see you uh, in my next tutorial